Hi, I'm Jennifer. Hi. Hi, Jennifer. So looking at recently the accomplishments that have been made, what do you think is maybe a turning point in the development of AI and really push things to, to become where they are now? So first of all, let me just point out that human race has always tried to understand how intelligence works. And it's kind of interesting to me that Turing, who is considered the father of computer science, um, he didn't think when he was talking about computer, what's the biggest Excel spreadsheet the computer can open. But his first question is, can machines think? So it's a, the point is we always wanted to see you know, how we think, how we do what we call intelligent tasks. And it's just that the infrastructure for checking whether the theories we are developing are just high level theories or whether they're actually feasible has only occurred recently. And that's part of the reason why you see a lot more, uh, what looks like a lot more development. You know, there was like a thin, slow development and then suddenly we were actually able to check whether these theories hold. And um, that's one reason I think it looks like everything happened in the last few years, which sort of is true because the infrastructure wasn't there before. The ideas, one of the technologies that we now use called neural networks or deep learning, these ideas existed for over 60, 70 years. Once again, there were, they had to wait for the proper infrastructure to develop. The other big reason is computational power in terms of graphical processing units wound up being very useful. And those two made perception possible. And once the perception is possible, everybody has them on their cell phones. And people think that AI is suddenly a reality. So as, as AI gets more and more intelligent, more and more jobs are actually starting to be replaced by robots or intelligent machines. So what do you think are the qualities that distinguish between the jobs that are likely to be replaced in the near future versus the one that might continue to have humans running them for a few more years? That's, that's a very good question. In fact, I don't think anybody knows the full answer to it. You know, there's a lot of thinking in the field as well as you know, out, outside of the field as to how this would play out. Um, this much is clear. There are certain things that AI systems are not particularly good at doing, um, such as emotional intelligence, social intelligence. And so jobs that will require those skills will actually stay for much longer time. Mm. Unfortunately, the way our economy developed, sometimes we don't think having emotional intelligence and social intelligence should give you any money. You know, you expect it to just have it. So funny thing is that the kind of jobs that people get after going through school for 20 years and become a medical doctor or a you know, paralegal professional might get automated much faster um, because they're just routine but highly cognitive and those can be automated. Whereas non-routine and cognitive tasks and non-routine and tasks which require emotional and social skills might stay much longer. Do you see any sorts of new ethical issues emerging as robots and AI systems become increasingly prevalent? Oh, a whole bunch of them, a <laughs> whole bunch of them. And, and I think there are no simple answers to this. There is a famous problem in philosophy called the trolley problem and a variation of that in the self-driving car is the self-driving car in which that's your car and you are a passenger and it sees that there is a particular unfortunate situation where it either is going to cause harm to like four kids or cause harm to you. Uh, what would you want the car to do? There is this um, beautiful statement that you go around the universe and in the end you will come back to where you started from and know that place for the first time. And so maybe dealing with intelligent machines might make us understand what humanity is or what, what being human is in the first place. So, but humanity as a whole is going to be thinking about this question because unlike physics and chemistry, making intelligent machines is essentially bringing a mirror to what you think of, what you think yourself about humanity. That's a big question.